All right, this is a patron request video for Danny. Danny asked several topics, um, but I'm gonna take the one on weed. He asked, he's like, you know, what's my opinion on weed? You know, cannabis 420 since it's becoming pretty much mainstream in the United States and it's gonna be legalized. What do I think about it? Well, a couple of things. One, I absolutely hate the smell of cheap weed. So if you're going to smoke it, smoke good, good, good bud. See, I hate it because it conflicts with my fragrance. I don't like anything that's gonna conflict with my fragrance. Cigarettes, cigars, but when I smoke, if I smoke a cigar, I'll end up rocking something that has incense, patchouli, tobacco, honey, something along those lines. Conversely, if you're gonna smoke actual weed, there are fragrances like Black Afghano, um, Smoke for the Soul, Music Festival, anything that has that hash note in it, anything that has some patchouli in it, that can kind of blend with it. That's the number one, I hate the smell. Number two, look man, I don't care who you are. If you come in smelling like weed, you lose cool points because it looks tacky. You can be dressed in to impress, but if you smell like 420, pe people's opinion of you just gonna go down. It doesn't matter if it's legal or not. That's not the point. The point is it's been illegal for so long, this is gonna take several generations for people to be like, uh, eh. but no different than when somebody smells like cigarette smoke, that turns folks off too. Weed smoke is even worse. Now, here's the upside of it. I love the effect. When I was a bartender, uh, when I actually, you know, waited tables, I didn't see anybody getting uh, into weed fights. Nobody was had weed muscles. The effect is cool. It reduces your anxiety. And depending on what you smoke too, because a lot of people call everything weed, there are different variations that do different things. I'm not gonna go into all that. I'll leave it to my true smokers. But if you want something that's gonna relax you, knock the anxiety off, settle your stomach, those kind of things, can't beat it. Uh, and if you are going to smoke, I say vape. Vape, because you want the impact. You don't need to be smoke, walking around with that little roach burning your fingers, man. Get you the best quality weed you can and vape it. Because you get all the good stuff and none of the bad funky smells or anything else like that. Um, and again, like I said, get you a bold fragrance, like a hash-based fragrance, because even with the vaping, there's going to be some residual smells. But at the end of the day, understand something, gentlemen, you're still <coughs> intaking intoxicants. Consume it just like you consume, with, with caution, like you consume any other alcohol or drug. You know, you're gonna have some risks, know who you're dealing with, know who you're around. Sometimes it may be cool, sometimes it may be less cool. You know, I say treat it just like you treat smoking cigarettes or cigars. Err on the side of caution. It is far, even though it's becoming more and more acceptable, it's still gonna have a stigma. I mean, this country spent over a hundred years, close to a hundred years demonizing marijuana. Go back and look in the 1920s, reefer madness. You know, it's not gonna just change just because, because it's made legal. And like I said, even if it did, man, it's still funky. Ah, so do me a favor, hit me in the, let us know what you think over here on the Patreon section. You like that behind the scenes, man? Yeah, I'm trying some things over here. Uh, to get you guys more Patreon content. So, Danny, there you go. Hope that answers your questions. Guys, if you have a video you'd like me to make, get it, uh, do me a favor, put it down in the comment section. I just might make it for you. Later.